Welcome back to the channel. Animeville, Animeville Horror 1979, the Animeville Horror 1979, the OG, the original, <clears throat> is what we will be reviewing today. So if you do enjoy the video, you know what to do. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So, <clears throat> the Animeville 1979, the original, what are my thoughts? I still like the remake better. I think the remake encapsulates and really retells the story a lot more. The original, to me, just... It, now, <clears throat> I will make people mad when I say this. I like the original, but man, it's missing something. Like, as I was watching the 1979 one, this one. I was kind of bored a little bit with this one. I, I was kind of bored. I, I, I was kind of like, huh. You know, and very, you know, anticlimactic, especially the ending, which I will get into in a minute. I felt bad for the dog more than anything in this. So you are following the Lutz family. I thought the acting was good, the way it shot, the, um, the score was good. I wanted the score to be used more in this, but it wasn't for some reason. So I don't know. Um, but there, <laughs> to me, Annie Meville, 1979, it's boring to me. It's boring. It, it really doesn't lead anywhere, which I did, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, you know, you have a lot of filler scenes. Sometimes filler scenes, filler scenes can be good for a film or bad. And I feel like in this case, it's bad for this film for the fact that, it's feeling it feels boring in a lot of spots and simple scenes just feel dragged on and the scenes that the remake did better like for example um um Kathy Lutz and George Lutz are talking about the heating and everything like that it's a long scene almost and in the remake it's short and sweet you know um Kathy Lutz she's just on the phone George said oh I'm going <sighs> You know, go down, check, he, you know, he said something like that, and he went, go down there, and was like, oh, you know, you know what I mean? To me, Animeville, 1979, this film is boring, I'll be honest, 1979, Animeville, like I've been saying, this film's boring to me. It, it does have some iconic moments, I do think it's an iconic horror film, I do recommend it, but it's not something I don't, it's, now I know why I don't. Now I realize why I don't watch this film, because it's it's too slow. And why is it so slow when there's really no payoff? I hate when a film does that. You know, when there's no payoff at the end. And the remake had such an awesome ending. This ending's like, oh, okay, you know, like like you would think like the house would consume him. Or something like in the remake. No. We get this almost lazy, anticlimactic ending. And I'm sitting there going, like, oh, now I see why I don't watch this movie. You know, I do like some of the scenes. I, I do like some of the scenes in here. Like, with the flaws. I do think they overuse the flaws too much. In my opinion, they overuse that too much. Oh, look, it's a fly. It's a fly. It's a fly. The fly is a demon. Overusing that too much without any, like, hints what it could mean. It's just, oh, it's a fly. Okay. <laughs> and me, myself, I never, and again, again, I stand by and say it was just a filler. Why was the window so a significant in this film? Oh, the window's open. Okay, and? The window's open, and? Like, that was such a significant scene and, like, part in this. I'm like, oh, my God. And here we go with the window again. Because, you know, like, I'm not going to go into the real case. But if you know the real case, nobody jumped out the window. And it basically was kind of saying somebody jumped out the window. But if you know anything about the case and the book, no one jumped out the window. That's what it this kind of gave me like oh somebody dropped out the window that's why the window keeps opening that i never got that like why does the 1979 film do that like 
they, they make you think somebody jumped out the window. That's what I'm thinking. Like, they, like they're making you think somebody jumped out the window because the window is so significant in this film. I don't get that. And so, you're talking about a film, you know, that's based on true events, but stretches a lot of things. And two, like the ending, <clears throat> the windows were never destroyed. The windows were never destroyed. So, again, you're stretching that. A lot of stretching going on into so many filler scenes, like the scene with the um, ants. Like the scene with the ant, and she's a nun. And that doesn't go anywhere. You know what I mean? She's just a nun that scared the Animeville house because she's a nun. Okay? And? You know what I mean? Like, again, just a filler scene. You know what I mean? Like, like, and, like, for real, like, even the, um, sex scene, like, even the sex scene that was in this, it dragged on, like, I'm going, like, you know what I mean, and, dude, that was even anticlimactic, like, for real, that, like, that was even anticlimactic, because you thought, you know, you was going to get a scare, but no, it was just, like, the, like, one of their kids is opening the door, and, two, why say the, um, sex scene was so long, because you had a, a whole scene with dialogue and a whole scene of her stretching and him a then a whole scene where George was talking about he wants to clean, you know. I'm like, okay, can we get on with the movie? You know what I mean? Like, with the remake, that's why I love the remake so much. I love the remake. You know, like, with the remake, you have the sex scene in the remake, but again... It's used appropriately. You know, you spend time with it, then you get a scare like you should get. Um, and two, I think they use, um, the scenes that they do use in the remake um, are well more executed and well more trimmed. To like the fly scene in the remake, they did it better. There's a lot of scenes in this. Again, like the fly scene, the sex scene, the heat, the, um, the um, heating scene. That's in this original film that just drag on. And the remake handles a lot of the scenes better. Like they just do in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion. That a lot of scenes are handled better in the remake. And the remake is just a better film overall. And two, there's really not a vibe here. You know, when you watch a film. It's based, especially, you know, when, when you feel. I can't talk today. Especially when you watch a film. Right, that's based on true events. You want some type of vibe. You want some type of vibe. You want some type of feel. I didn't get that. I, I just got lengthy scenes. They dragged on for too long. And they went nowhere. Um, Like, that was the scene where um Kathy Lutz, she woke up at 3.15 a.m. Um, She yelled something. And it, um, she yelled, oh, she got shot in the head or something like that. I'm like. Okay, so she called them night terrors now, right? No, that didn't go anywhere. There were so many plot things, it, it just didn't feel full to me. Like, you know, one minute you're focusing on the family, then one minute you're focusing on Jordan's friends, and the next minute you're focusing on the priest, then one minute you're focusing on this one priest, and this one minute you're focusing on this, I guess, detective? I don't, I'm not too sure. Then the next minute you're focusing on his police officers over here. Very jumpy very lengthy film and and again it's not that long of a film like that's the thing it's not that long of a film but the way it's just executed feels so long do i hate this film no and if you are a fan i'm sorry that i'm talking down on your favorite horror film i apologize but i prefer the remake and that's i prefer the 2005 rhino reynolds um um remake i prefer the remake and so, like, I just feel like they cobbled out with a lot of stuff on this. And especially with the um, George character. Because there was, like, a lot of times where I was like, okay, well, is he about to get consumed by the house? Is he about to get taken over by the house? Is he about to get possessed? What's going on? But that doesn't even lead anywhere. You know? Like, at, like, at the end of the film, like, I actually, because I haven't seen this one in a while. So I thought, oh, okay, okay. You know, like, because, like, he picks up the axe and he's trying to go find his family. And it looks like the house already consumed him. You know, because, like, he's 
nail in the window shut, yada, yada, yada. But then the house didn't do nothing to him. You know, like, I think they copped out with a lot of stuff here. I can understand. But I do feel like they copped out with a lot of stuff. And they really didn't go to the full potential. To me, the remake really went to its full potential. We're like, oh, yeah. That's a horror film. So, had Nemi Reveal, 1979. What are my final thoughts? I give it a 7 out of 7. I know. Some people, you know, you know, some people give this film a 10 out of 10. Some people give this film... And even 9 out of 9. So people give this 8 and a half. I give it a 7. Yeah, a 7 out of 7. I don't think it's a perfect horror film. I don't think it's a perfect horror film. It's not my cup of tea because it's so lengthy. And just filler scenes that don't go anywhere. And they're just there to be there for for, for a run time. Um, nothing really happens in the film. Very anticlimactic but i can't respect why this film is a classic and why it's recorded as a classic but i don't think i'll be checking this film out anytime soon for the sole purpose of i'd rather watch the remake the remake is way more entertaining so Andy Maville, 1979 i give it a seven out of seven i don't enjoy it i don't enjoy this but i will watch it i just don't enjoy it that makes any sense so if you did enjoy the video why not smack that like button smack that like button for me Subscribe for your su subscribe if you are a new viewer, and why not go and why not hit that notification bell as well? And let me know what do you think of the 1979 Animeville film? Do you prefer this one or the remake? I want to know that in the comments below, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.